Hello my name is Paul Pico and today we'll take a very quick look at Facelift Professional for Visual Objects. So I take your VO binary entities to .NET, either Windows Forms or WPF, uh, to a target language of Vulkan.NET, C Sharp or VB.NET. Here we are in Visual Objects looking in a repository called Default Project. There are two applications that uh, I want to use Facelift on. The first is Data Aware. It's a modified version of the standard uh, visual object sample. It has a help about window, which is fairly simple. I have a modified version of the main form in which I've made a number of visual changes and put a few extra controls on it. Um, I've also put a tab window. Uh, which has three tab pages on it. Here's the first tab page, second tab page, and third tab page. I've also added uh, some code to the main form for each of the events, both the Windows and Controls events. Now Facelift is going to be able to take the Windows events across and create stub methods for us and we'll see that the other window methods are taken across uh, as commented code into our .NET project. So this is what we have in Visual Objects. So that's our first application. Second application is Orders, which is a standard master detail relationship. And here we have the order de uh, the basic order details here, and here are the line items of the individual order. Uh, so we'll close down Visual Objects and run Facelift Professional for Visual Objects and create ourselves some .NET code. Now I've pinned Facelift Professional for Visual Objects into the taskbar in Windows 7. So if I click on here I can start the wizard get a welcome screen and then move on to choose the visual objects repository we want to work with and the one that um, we're working with today is the default project pick out the data aware and order samples and say next uh, we need to specify where we're going to put our solution so we'll put it into the test folder within documents the solution will be called default project. We're going to choose Vulcan.net as the language, uh, produce a Windows Forms application library, and we'll go to Visual Studio 2010. Click Next and uh, review the choices we've made and click Next again. Uh, Facelift does its work, pulling out the Windows binary entities from the Visual Objects repository and creating the Visual Studio solution. You can open it now. And here is our Visual Studio solution in uh, Visual Studio 2010. The first thing that should be done is to build the solution. This ensures that the forms designer can read the forms that have been created by Facelift. Um, so if we go over here now and double click on the main form, we'll see a window that looks very similar to the one that we originally had in Visual Objects. Now if we have a look at the code that's behind this window, you'll see that all of the controls are .NET Forms controls. Open up the tab window and you'll see that tab control here uh, even shows the individual tab pages while we're in the forms designer. Uh, that comes courtesy of the fact that all child windows from visual objects are brought across as user controls. And now we'll open up the uh, order screen, double click on win order and you'll see here's our um, order complete with the 
what was a sub data window in visual objects. Um, now a user control um, complete with the um, data grid view here in place of the old data browser. There is one more thing we'll take a look at before we finish this introduction. I said earlier we had uh, events defined for the main form. Now the source code to the window that the Windows designer shows uh, is in mainform.prg. Um, additional code that's generated by Facelift Professional is in mainform extensions designer.prg. If I open that up, you'll see that we have here a number of events uh, defined down here. Mouse double click, mouse down, mouse up. Um, and if we go a little further down, you'll see that the source code for those examples uh, has been put in as comments within stub methods. So there you have a lightning tour of what Facelift Professional for Visual Objects does. Once you have these uh, .NET uh, class libraries containing the windows, you can either reference them from your other projects or uh, copy these individual class library projects off to other solutions you already have. Um, or uh, even just copy the source code out. Uh, any one of a number of options of what you can do. Basically, this gives you a starting point in .NET code, either Windows Forms or WPF, uh, as a basis for you to move on with your .NET development.